we're here at our milepost eight siding and uh we're gonna you know as we would talk about rail and track materials and stuff like that your rail and your spikes they get all the glory uh today we're going to talk about some of the unsung heroes of the railroad track and uh we're going to try to uh not much talked about we're going to try to elevate that up to star status today so we're going to talk about rail anchors all righty there are uh two different actual types of rail anchors these are called drive-ons okay uh the second type here is called a uh a spring type uh, some people call them wrench-ons and uh, we've always for slang called them snap-on anchors uh, there's uh, this is a this one right here it's called a unit drive on you drive it on with us with a hammer the rail goes in here and then this comes up under the base of the rail I'll show you that in a little bit uh, this is called a unit channel anchor I don't like these. Uh, I don't think they have real great holding power. Uh, and see the channel in there, if you guys have seen my cribbing bucket, I've actually got my cribbing bucket stuck in here. <laughs> I had to drive this out with a with a sledgehammer. It was, uh, so I don't like these real, all that well. Um, there's also another type called an improved fair anchor. And it's very similar to this one. It's a little bit flatter across here. It's got a little bit of a cut the angled here. There's not a whole lot of difference between the two. And I don't have any of those here um, to show you. But uh, that's that. Um, these uh, snap arms or wrench arms or spring type anchors. Uh, this is a drive on like this over here you drive drive this on then this would snap up over the base of the rail and um, this is the second type it's called a wooding anchor um i'm not i i can't give you a hundred percent positive on this but um way back in 19 early 19 teens there was a company called the woodings railway warning device company started by benjamin wooding and i believe that he's the one that invented his company invented these types of anchors that's why they're called wooding anchors um these anchors are also called anti-creepers uh they do a very important job here on a rail <coughs> a rail creep is something that um, deserves kind of like a video of its own but uh, basically what happens, you know, the rail creep is basically caused by two different factors. One's the uh, weather, which is, you know, when the rail gets hot, it, it expands. And when it gets cold, it contracts, so the rail's moving all the time. And also the uh, dynamic forces of the uh, train going over it. Um, a lot of our going west is upgrade. So when those drivers are digging into the rail, going upgrade, they're actually pushing the rail back. They're pushing the rail back as those drivers dig in. Um, so that pushes the rail east. We say here, all our rail runs to the river, which is east. And um, also coming back, everything is loads all the time we don't have bi-directional traffic for loads uh, when they're braking that kind of like wants to have an effect of pushing the rail also so that's kind of a broad general description of creep uh, like i said the creep rail creep deserves a lot more time but uh show you how i put these anchors on this is uh i'll show you this in a minute but uh i got it set up so the anchors let me get this over here. I'll set this uh, this anchor underneath the rail first. Okay. 
So I've got it set in there and then I'm going to use this wrench to try to put it on. So, so this is a snap on. Oh, it's hard to do with one hand. There we go. Got it snapped up on there. See how that fits in there? Um, obviously with the drive ones, I'd use my uh, spike and mall to drive that on. And uh, that's where it's there under the base. It's driven on already. Now, if I want to take these off, this is what I do. Drive them off with here. Got to drive that down and then under. Uh, we well, always put the anchors on from the gauge side or the inside of the rail, put them on out. Uh, another thing, if you're uh, driving these off, make sure there's nobody standing over there because uh, if there's not a lot of ballast to hold them, then they'll go flying. If there is a lot of ballast in here, once I drive this off or this off, then I'll use this part of the spike and maul to drive it back under and out on the other side. Okay. Uh, two types of anchor wrenches. And uh, I'll show you the first type. I don't have any. So I took a picture of it. That's the, uh, that's the old style anchor wrench it was quite big almost as tall as me and weighed 26 pounds that's what we started out with originally here um i i've been told <laughs> and i don't know this for a fact but i've been told these wrenches are no longer allowed to be used on the railroads uh they were quite heavy and apparently they caused a lot of uh back injuries neck injuries so this is what uh, what we have now it's called a woodings anchor wrench and it's a spring type it's also called an easy anchor wrench that's e capital e capital z and once i got this thing they're about uh, 16 17 years ago uh, I threw that old, <laughs> I threw that, don't tell anybody, but I threw that old anchor wrench in the dumpster. Because <laughs> this is a lot easier to use. And uh, it's a lot more fun to use. You can uh, go shopping for these. And uh, actually, if you find a deal, this uh, Woodings anchor wrench costs about $660. But it is well worth it. It's... Uh, well worth it does a really good job it's fairly easy maybe that's why they call them easy wrenches easy anchor wrenches huh <laughs> so uh hopefully we've uh elevated these anchors to a little bit higher status now um anchor patterns i want to uh first i got this i wanted to show you this this is a lot of uh the old obsolete anchors. Obviously don't have any of these, but uh, I wanted to show you these. These are all things that they've experimented with over the years, and they said they're all obsolete now. Different types. And uh, so that's pretty neat. I thought, anyway. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Uh, enjoy it probably help if i get out a little bit of sunlight in here so you can see better okay anchor patterns uh an anchor pattern is when you you put uh anchor here anchor here then you'll do the exact same thing on the other side other rail over here of the same tie 
okay you don't anchor one side not the other um, how many anchors do we put okay we have all jointed rail here um, <laughs> there's yeah I know I wish it was continuous welded rail but it's not it's all jointed rail so that gives us a lot of extra work but anyway uh, if you look on the continuous welded rail some people call it ribbon rail you'll find that every single tie has anchors on them the uh, we don't need to do that our joints take up a lot of the creep and uh, there's typically 21 22 ties per 39 foot rail section so on tangent track like this if we have eight eight ties anchored uh, that's pretty good when we get into uh, a grade uh, like what we have up there at 2.5 percent grade or we get into uh, sharper degree curves then we'll try to uh, put at least 12 depends on the degree of the curve but and the steepness of the grade but uh, probably 12 per rail section is uh, good for us but anyway that doesn't mean that uh, that's not how anybody else does it on other railroads I, I don't know uh, a lot about what goes on on other railroads but I do know this is the way we do things and I really do appreciate a lot of railroaders right in and they add uh, add all kind of neat stuff I, I, I'm tell you what I'm learning I'm learning a lot from a lot of these guys uh, things that I never knew before and I absolutely love that I love it when other people write in tell me how they do the thing hey you know what maybe that's an easier way and I and I consider it so thank you very much uh, I love this stuff this is so cool every day I get to be out here all this track material <laughs> rail and see the trains go by uh, wow this is a this is like a dream come true and I really appreciate all you guys watching I really do and I thank you so much so now we've got the we've got a new hero of the job site <laughs> was that Tim the tool man Taylor used to say that stuff uh, new the unsung hero of the job site is anchors now on today and now we've got her I think we got her pretty much covered what I wanted to go over so again thank you for watching and uh, hey that's railroading <laughs> you gotta love it man